y'all and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because my order from ColourPop just arrived. I ordered the full ColourPop Star Wars collection and oh my god the packaging is so cute it is so cute look at c3po r2d2 we have a stormtrooper on the cart we have like this is such cool packaging i'm so excited about this collection i bought this on the ColourPop site the day it launched i do have it pretty fast because i paid for expedited shipping because i wanted to get this video up for y'all i know some of the items from the collection are now at ulta i know the palette is there and i cannot wait to dip into this i'm very excited to play with this palette we've got lipsticks lip glosses jelly munch shadows liners we are going to be testing this collection out today it's going to be true first impressions i'm going to swatch everything for y'all i've tried ColourPop products for years so i feel like i know when they make something really good and when they miss so i'm going to be able to give you my thoughts on these products after trying them we're going to create a look you can see my eyes and lips are not done so we're going to play with these products and if you are new here hey my name is heather and makeup makes me happy here my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means shimmer glitter testing new collections we are here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because i upload lots of new videos every single week i'm also hosting a huge makeup giveaway if you didn't see my video from sunday definitely check that out enter the giveaway but i'm very excited to play with this collection so let's jump into it Before we get into applying this collection, let's kind of go through it piece by piece. And I'm going to show you the swatches. The first thing we have is the Star Wars ColourPop Pressed Powder Palette. I love the cover of this palette with the Star Wars, how it's holographic. And I want to show you a close up so you can see the color story inside. I love the blues and the reds and the neutrals and the silvers. And it looks like we have some really cool marbled shadows in here. I like how we have this really cool Star Wars artwork on the inside. My husband and son are huge, huge Star Wars fans. So I just thought this was such a cool like concept. I just love the design. The packaging is also really nice. Star Wars right here is raised. And then if you feel the palette, the stars and the imprints here are kind of raised as well. So really, really nice. Let me show you swatches of this palette. I've seen so many people create beautiful looks both here on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, using the blues and the reds. But what's really calling to me today is these more kind of silvery tones. So I think that's what we're going to play with. We're going to see what we can create. There's also two Jelly Much shadows. I'll show you swatches of these. There's one that's more silvery blue, one that's a little more white in tone. I like the Jelly Much shadow formula. I have not had a problem with mine drying out. I open them, use them, close them, keep them sealed, and I've had a great experience. I really like the cream shadows. Next up, we have two liquid liners. Now, this is a new formula to me. This is the Graphic Ink Liner, and I've never tried these. We have cyber crystal and lightsaber so we're gonna play with these today again the packaging is really cute with the holographic stars next up we have three lipsticks i love that we have the star wars on here and i love that on the bottom of the lipsticks we do have stickers so you kind of know what shade you're grabbing i'm going to show you a swatch of these these are the cream Lux lipsticks and i actually tried this formula first when i bought the nightmare before christmas collection last year and those lipsticks ended up being some of my favorites for the whole year. I really like this formula. So I'm excited to have this in new shades. We're going to apply one today. And last but not least for this collection, we have the Lux Glosses. I love that we have, again, the really cute packaging. We have a purple one and a more pinky peach one. I really like the Lux Lip Gloss Formula, so I'm excited to try all these things. Now that we've been over everything, I've shown you swatches. I will have this collection linked down below, both at ColourPop and at Ulta. That way, if you wanna check it out, prices, details, ingredients, anything like that, it will all be in those links. 
but I'm ready to put this on the eyes. So I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we are gonna get started. Okay, I primed my eyes with my Sigma Eye Base in the shade Ignite. And like I said, I've seen, I haven't watched any reviews or anything like that on the palette, but I've seen pictures and thumbnails and stuff like that. And I've seen so many beautiful looks with the reds and the blues, and it's just beautiful. But what I wanna do is maybe play with some of these neutrals, silver tones. It looks like we have a duochrome up here. I know y'all already saw the swatches of this palette, but I don't usually swatch palettes until after I film the look so I can kind of see uh, for myself without swatching. But this looks like it's going to be like a duochrome. Let's see. Well, there's a swatch in it. Yeah, it's kind of like a silver blue green. Really pretty. So let's first go in with Starfighter. This shade right here that looks a little more on the cool toned side. I've got a Sigma E40 brush. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna make sure there's no creases in my eye primer. And I'm just going to put this right here in the crease. So here's my crease, like the socket, and then I'm gonna blend it up and above as well. Just gonna softly blend that shade up. It's a pretty light shade. So I just wanna go in with layers to build it up a little bit. Okay, so far this shade seems to be Blending really nice. Just kind of a light transition type of shade for us. Now I wanna go in with this shade right here called Loyalty. It's a little bit warmer. I like that this palette with these red shades that you do have this more warm neutral color and that you do also have cool tone shades. I just think the color story was really well thought out with this one. I'm keeping this shade Loyalty a bit lower, so it's not coming up quite as high as that lighter shade Starfighter that we used, but I am definitely going to blend it out when I get out here to the outer corner. Okay, those two matte shades blended really, really well on top of one another. They look really nice. So now I'm gonna go into Star Destroyer, this black shade, and I'm picking this up on a Sigma E25. And this I'm just going to put right here in the outer portion of my eye to add some depth out there. So first I'm just going to press it on and kind of pack it where I want it. And then I'll kind of swirl my brush to blend it out. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this Ruffer 02 brush. And this, this silver is just really calling to me. Like it's so reflective. You can kind of see as I move it how it hits the light. So I want to go into that silver. Again, this is a Ruffer 02 brush. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, that just looks so pretty. Like ever since I opened the palette, it's calling to me. I am going to spray my brush. Whatever makeup mist you have laying around is just fine. This one's from e.l.f. I don't necessarily love this one for my face. That's why I I'm using it for its shadow. Oh my gosh, that is really intense and beautiful. Oh, that makes me so happy because, you know, sometimes you see a shadow in the pan and it's just beautiful and then you go to put it on your eyes and you're like, what a disappointment. <laughs> but this, wow, that is really reflective. Oh, that is a shade worthy of a Star Wars palette. Like that is really, really pretty. Okay, since my eyes are deep set, I take my shade really high. You can see right here is my eye socket and I'm bringing my brush up that high. Because my eyes are so deep set, I wanna help open them up. So bringing the shadow up, when my eyes are open, it's gonna give them the appearance of being a little bit bigger which I really like, but if you're somebody who really just wants to keep your shimmers and metallic shades on the lid, you can definitely do that. This is just a way that I like to work with my shadows. That shade is so beautiful. Like, look, when I turn to the light and the light hits it, it's just stunning. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, okay. I just kind of have that in the center with it fading out into the black. Now, oh, what do we want to do now? Like, what is even going to look good beside it? I think if you wanted to add color without an intense, colorful look, 
You could put the red here, you could put the blue here, whatever you wanted to do. But I, I kind of want to go in with this shade right down here. This one that's kind of looks like marbleized space pirate. That one looks really cool. Okay, this shade I have on a Lunar Beauty brush. And that's really cool. I was kind of wondering how it would look on the eyes. And it's like a gray with a purple base or not not a purple base but like a purple sparkle isn't that kind of cool okay I'm just gonna fade these two shades together but I'm keeping it on that inner part that's really fun I think look at that that's fun oh this palette it's giving me what I wanted it to give me that's good I was hoping like let this be the really good ColourPop formula that I like because this is such a cute theme. It's such a cute packaging. I wanted the shadows inside to be good too. And so far it looks really good. I'm going to go back with the brush that we put the black on with and I'm just going to deepen it up just a little bit out here. That's really, really, really pretty. Okay, let's kind of see what these liquid liners do. This is the shade Cyber Crystal, which looks kind of like, I don't know. I, I haven't swatched it yet. You've seen the swatch here. Let's do it right here. So kind of like a, it is kind of, well, it's a purple more so, like a purple to blue. Okay, what I'm going to do is put this on the lower lash line. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if these are meant for the waterline, but let's see. I'm going to be outside for a bit today, so we'll see if it stays. Wow, I think I got it in my eye. That kind of burns. <laughs> that kind of burns a little bit. Okay, maybe I don't recommend that. Maybe I don't recommend that. But let's put it on the lower lash line like that. And then let me blend it in with a shade from the palette maybe. But let me do this other eye and then I'll get a small brush and we'll see what happens. Okay, <laughs> my eyes are a little watery because I decided to put the liquid liner in the water line, which I sh shouldn't have done. That was not the best, not the best idea, Heather. But I'm going to take this little brush from Unearthly Cosmetics and I'm going to go into Outer Rim. This is the other shade that looks kind of marbleized. And it looks like it has black, red, silver. And we're going to put this on the lower lash line. And this is pretty. This is very sparkly. I know a lot of people prefer to use matte shades on the lower lash line. And sometimes I do too. I just like to mix it up. I think a metallic can look really pretty. And nice on the lower lash line and it can just give a look a little something extra to have a little bit of sparkle under there so I'm just kind of dragging that and mixing it in with the liquid liner because the liquid liner is staying well like on the lower like in the lashes so I'm kind of blending it with that just not so hot for the water line Okay, let's use a Jelly Munch shadow. Let me see what brush I'm going to use. I think this one from BK Beauty, the 207. Now, I have two different shades here, but I think the one I'm going to use is Astro, Astro Munch. This one that's more like kind of blue, silver. I think that's going to look really pretty with what we have going on on the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to use what came off on the cap here. I kind of like, with these, if I want to apply them with a brush instead of a finger, I kind of rub my brush in there to make sure I get a good bit picked up. And I think that looks really cool on the inner corner. Like I said, I have had some experience working with this formula before, but I really like this shade. I think that's super pretty just gonna kind of wrap it right in here okay I'm going to apply some mascara I'm going to apply some lashes and then I'll come back and we'll play with the lipsticks and the lip glosses but so far I just have to say like 
I'm really liking this look. I really like the shades that we used. How many shades do we use? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the shadows from this palette. This has one, two, three, four, 15. 15 shades and we use six. But let me finish up the eyes and I'll be back. Okay, this is the finished eye look. I just put on some mascara and some Ardell Wispy lashes. Now we're gonna do lips. I did put on a little bit of lip liner. This is the Ultra Suede Sculpting Pencil in the shade Toasty from Makeup by Mario. Because we have three lip colors, we have uh, Surrender, Dark Lord, and Supreme Ruler. We're gonna go with Supreme Ruler and Dark Lord. We're gonna do kind of an ombre. Now these lipsticks have a really cool like imprint on them of stars. Mine got a little messed up. That's okay, it's kind of hot here. But I just wanna put a little bit of this on the outer corners like that. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to blend and we're gonna do kind of that like ombre-ish type of look. Oh, this color. Mm, mm, mm. just like this putting this on here and then I'm going to blend it out then I am going to maybe go in with a lip brush you could use your finger but I have a lip brush on the side of my makeup by Mario pencil so I'm just going to kind of blend those two together with it being a little bit lighter in the center Okay, now that I have those like mixed to make my custom color, I'm gonna blend a little bit more with the gloss. Either one of these glosses would be beautiful, but the one that's just calling to me the most is of course the purple one. So this more pinky peach is Imperial, just Imperial, okay? And this one is Elite. So, oh, I like this formula and I really like this packaging. That is so pretty. I love kind of a shimmery gloss. So beautiful. All right, y'all. Now that my look is complete, I'm super, super happy with it. Excited to be wearing this throughout the rest of my day. I want to kind of give you my first impression. This palette, I think, is that really nice ColourPop formula that I know and love. I think this is really, really pretty. I think this was at a great price point. I think this was $22 or $24 for 15 beautiful shades with different formulas and finishes. There's no pressed glitters in here. And if we're talking about color story alone, I think this is one of my favorite color stories that ColourPop has done. I love that we have colors duochromes, neutrals, cool tones, warm tones. This silver shade is popping. Like I really, 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 really like this. I'm excited to keep using this. The lipsticks and the lip glosses already knew this formula. Excited to have more shades. Same thing with the Jelly Much shadows. These liquid liners, I'll have to play with some more. I think it's really pretty. They both have like shimmer to them. Very beautiful. But if you're wanting to skip anything from the collection, I think those probably are just like the least interesting things in the collection. But me, I'm happy with my purchase. I'm happy. I bought it all. I bought the full collection. I'm going to keep using it. And I always do monthly reviews on my channel. I have a series favorites and hate it's where I come back and review all the things I've tried. I also rank eyeshadow palettes. So once I've tried everything, know my full thoughts on it, I can definitely give you updates in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, swatches, hearing my first impression thoughts because I really enjoyed this collection. I love the Star Wars collab. I think it's so fun. Let me know if you're into this collection, if you're gonna shop your stash. Remember any of the looks that I do on my channel. I'm not saying you need these exact products to get this look. Shop your sash, see what you have. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.